back to my channel, it's Christina at Homeschool and Grace. And today's video is a review of, get all the books, Matthew C. So I have had a lot of requests about how we use Matthew C, if we like Matthew C. Um, and so I thought, well, might as well share a video all about Matthew C. So I'm first gonna, I made kind of a list so I don't forget anything. Um, I first want to share with you what's included when you buy Matthew C, a curriculum. So first of all, you get your student workbook, and it's big, and there's 30 lessons through each workbook. And I will turn the camera around at the end and do a flip through of the workbook and the test book and the instructor's, instructor's manual. So this is for gamma. This is single and multiple digit multiplication. So it comes with that. It also comes with the test book, which is smaller, obviously, and then your instruction manual. Oh, one more thing. Two more things. And you got your DVD that comes with it. And you have to buy this case separately, and I'm not even sure if they still sell it, but um, I have this big Matthew C. wooden box for all our blocks. So I have this one. And then this one's for any extras because I feel like we've got a lot of blocks. So there you go. Okay, so that's everything that's included with it. Now we have been using, we have, I have taught through Primer. I know I always say it's Primer, but I guess it's Primer. So Primer, this is for like your kindergartner, Alpha, first grade, Beta, Second grade, this is all ish, <laughs> second grade ish, uh, delta, no, I'm getting out, I'm like, wait a second, that doesn't sound right, gamma, third grade ish, which is multiplication, and then delta would be your uh, fourth grade ish. Okay, so why did we choose to use Matthew C? Well, to give a little backstory, my oldest has kind of struggled through math. And I really struggled through math as a student. Um, I went to public school and like, I never felt like I was properly taught math. <laughs> um, I could never, I never knew any of the tricks. I never knew any of that stuff. Um, so I always like struggled and I was like, how in the world am I going to teach this? So we had used other curriculums and I just felt like I never could really teach them very well. And then I found Matthew C and the DVDs. And this has become a lifesaver because Mr. Demi, he teaches you. It's really for the teacher to learn how to teach the subject or the new lesson to be learned. And what's helpful though is that my child and I, we watch the video together and then we always do the first lesson together. So that way I can then reteach it to them if they have any questions, if they didn't really understand the concept, I can then reteach it. And then I have the teacher's manual, which then I can dive even deeper if I need to from the DVD to understand the concept that works I'm teaching. And so why we love math you see is because it's really math that you see. Like you use the manipulatives, you have the DVD, you then work through the problem with your child and then hopefully after that first lesson, sometimes two lessons, they get the concept. So then they can go and do the remainder of the problem, the, that lesson's week. And we don't always do every single lesson. So I think there's, let's see here, seven lessons for each week, I guess, or each new uh, subject that's learned or each new concept that's learned. And we always sound like, like that's too much unless they're really struggling with the concept. But typically it only takes about one or two that I work with them and then they can do it on their own. And so the first, well, I'll show you, I'll have to flip the camera around to actually show you in the book so it's a little easier. So what we dislike about Matthew C. I haven't found a lot that I dislike. I love that, I'll, as I show you the book, that the first three lessons are always like, just on the new concept that's being learned. Then the remainder four lessons in that, or four sheets in that lesson is all uh, that same new concept and then also review. 
So I have heard before, like people say like, oh, there's not enough review, but I have not found that to be the case. I found there to be lots of review um, of old concepts because sometimes they're like, what, when did I learn this? And then I have to kind of remind them, oh, remember this and you're learning this. And then, then it will spark that memory of like, oh yeah, 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 that's right. And then they can do the problem. But sometimes it's like, what, what did I just, I don't remember learning that one, <laughs> which I guess doesn't sound like a positive, but really, I mean, sometimes, you know, you just, you need a reminder of like, no, you did learn this. Um, one last thing that we really like that comes with it is the song book. So this is, and it comes with a CD, but this is to help with skip counting and addition facts. And so, uh, it's a really sweet way to learn your math facts and it goes slowly and quickly, but it's all, I think they're pretty much biblical theme songs. So that's kind of fun. I guess not all of them, but it's adding doubles, extras, um, lots of really fun stuff. So it's a really neat thing to add to the curriculum if your child is struggling with memorizing math facts. And then one last thing I wanted to share. Whoops. So we made our own decimal street. So this is one of the big concepts. So the student would put the Matthew C blocks on here to help learn place value. And so we have the unit section, tens, and then the hundred section. So I made this, but it has the instructions on how to make this in the, I think, alpha, and it might also be in the primer. Let's see, did I get everything? Okay, one last thing before I flip around and actually show you the curriculum is how we use it. So Mondays, if we were to use this in a tri typical week, Mondays we'd watch the video that comes along for that lesson, and then I would work with the child in their student workbook on the first lesson on Monday. And then Tuesday, they'd be on their own. I'd still be in the room, but if they need help, I'm there to help immediately. And then, and I have three kids right now using Matthew C. So we kind of all, they have to take turns watching the video because I want to be able to watch it with them so that I, I know the concept that's being taught so I can help <laughs> with whatever the problem is if I'm not sure of how he explains it. So then uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday would all be student sheets that they'd work through and they typically do uh, like 1A, 1B, 1C, and then one of the systematic reviews, which would be like 1E, 1F, 1D, they'd do one of those. And then on Friday, they would take the test for that week in their test book. And if they get an A or a B, they can move on to the next lesson. If they get below that, then they have to do extra sheets that I would then either go back to this and review the, the um, lesson with them, the sheets that we skipped, or I've printed out worksheets from Matthew C. They have extra if you need them. Also, if I feel like they're still struggling with the concept, there are drills that they can do on the website that I've used as well to help with the concepts or just to help with like the memorization for multiplication, math facts, stuff like that. So we really have enjoyed math. You see, it's been a great curriculum. My girls actually get really excited to see like which books they get to go next to and just to see like the progression and because it's so linear, it just, it's very easy for them to visualize what they'll be doing next. So yes, so let me flip the camera around and I'll show you inside the books. Okay, so to start out, it's upside down for me, but it should be right side up for you. So we're gonna start going through gamma and uh, yeah, just show you where we're at. So my second, my third grader just started up this year. So I'll skip, she's in level one, so we'll skip that. So 2A, so you can see it's just a bunch of practice of the new concept that's being learned. And it ends up being about 25 lessons per day. So it's really not too much. I don't feel like it's overkill. We've done some curriculums before where there's so many that's just overwhelming. So it's nice that it's very simple. It's not an there's no color. So they're not going to be overwhelmed by what they see. It's very simple pages. So 2A... 2B, 
to see. Again, this is all lesson practice for that one concept. And then we go on to the review. So systematic review. So you can see at the beginning, it's that concept. And then we start doing systematic review of old lessons. Again, systematic review, concept, review. And one more time, systematic or concept, and then the review. And this one, she'll be starting to work on her fact sheet, so that's why that's in there. But then we have one last. This is an application and enrichment. Um, we don't, we rarely do these unless they really catch their eye. Sometimes they're like dot to dots, and so they want to do them. But this is just an extra enrichment, really, to add along with it. And as you can see, it goes on to the back. And then we'd go on to 3A. So that is a typical week for a lesson with Matthew C. So let me show you the instructor's manual. So here's the instructor's manual. So if you're working on a lesson, as you can see, he explains it here, what the new concept is, and then has some examples of it and examples to work through with your child. And then more, this would be to add to your multiplication chart of what's been completed. And then just a little more instruction for you to explain it if you need, if the DVD wasn't enough help. And then here's some more examples of that new lesson. Also in the teacher's manual in the back of it, this will be all your answer guide for the student workbook and also for the tests. So that's super helpful. I can quickly go through and grade their papers and I'm not having to like actually do all the problems again myself. I can just look back here and see you have your test. So it makes it really helpful for grading their work quickly. Okay, lastly, Here's your test book, and it's just very simple. Lesson test, there you go. Like the first one here only has eight problems, but they increase more. This one has up to 28 or 32, here we go. So this would be a review test or a unit test to make sure that they're still remembering those concepts from before. So these ones are obviously longer than just your weekly normal tests. So this one has 15, and then at the very end, you would have your final test for the student along with, right before it, you'd have a unit test to make sure that they understand the lessons from 21 to 30 or something like that. So there you go. So we really love Matthew C, and I really like how it's laid out very simply. Each one has... 30 lessons so they know when they are done with the book and moving on to the next one and they get super excited to fill out their congratulations paper at the end knowing that they're moving on to the next book. Okay, so I hope this video was helpful for you. If you're interested in using Matthew C, we just really love it. It's been a great addition for math for our students here and I hope that you know, if you're thinking about it, this video uh, showed clearly what is all part of Matthew C. And yeah, so as you can see, we really love Matthew C. It's a great math curriculum. It helps immensely if your child especially is struggling, uh, struggling with math. But even if you have a very math minded student um, that needs very consistent lessons each week, um, this is a great, great curriculum to use. So. If you have any questions, please put them down below in the comment section. And um, here are some other videos to go and check out. And I hope to see you at the next video. All right, thanks. Bye-bye.